Act. The Winnebago Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help in identifying an unknown location, though they're not saying exactly why. Investigators released the crop pictures on Wednesday. They say it's part of an investigation with Michigan State Police. It's believed these pictures were taken somewhere in Wisconsin or Upper Michigan. They could be from a community pool, aquatic center, campsite, water park, or similar location. The full images appeared to show people changing and wearing swimsuits. And those photos have gone viral. Michigan State Police say the investigation started in 2019 and involves illegally spying on someone. Fox 11's Monique Lopez has our update. Winnebago County investigators released the four cropped redacted versions of the images Wednesday. While the location of where these photos were taken is unknown at this time, how they were discovered no longer is a mystery. Part of what happened was a, a search warrant executed on a, on a residence and a computer hard drive seized and these images were taken actually from that computer hard drive. The amount of photos that we put out for um, you to put out to your viewers is just a very, very small sampling of what was there. A person was arrested as a result of that search warrant, but has not been charged in relation to these particular photos. The suspect is in custody in Upper Michigan, but he has ties here in Winnebago County. Officials say the person lived in Winnebago County before apparently moving to Upper Michigan. Because the suspect uh, has ties to our jurisdiction, we think, you know, from the images that we're able to release, we, we don't know the location of that. So we're kind of trying to cover all, all the bases and his prior contacts in our jurisdiction uh, led to our contact with them and then subsequently our release to the media trying to locate you know, where these images uh, may have been created. Tips came flooding in. Based on information gathered so far, it's believed that the scenes in the photos are from a location in Wisconsin or Upper Michigan. We also have uh, had tips that the Wisconsin Dells area may be a, a location of interest and the Green Bay area. So we, you know, we're trying to reach out to as many people as we can, get the images out there, and hopefully somebody sees it and is like, I know where that is. And we, you know, we've had a lot of public interest in it. There are a lot of unidentified victims out there of these photos that we would really like to get um, identified and justice for, and any help in locating that would be uh, greatly appreciate it. After a hazmat situation that caused a yellow-like smoke to be released into the air. It happened at the milk specialties plant in Fond du Lac. Fire officials say the situation has been mitigated right now. The plant in question is located on Tompkins Street. That's off of South Hickory Street and North Military Road. Fox 11's Nick Harrington brings us an update. First responders in hazmat suits enter Milt Specialties after responding to a call just before noon on Thursday, causing this yellow smoke to appear in the sky. And residents like Travis Zimdars to be forced out of their homes. I decided to step outside and the fireman told me I had to leave. Fire Chief Peter O'Leary said they evacuated residents within a block radius of the plant. And between 90 and 100 employees of Milk Specialties were required to leave as well. They were unsure what was causing the the discharge, uh, which, you know, again, was something that uh, we then um, started to think about what possibly could be. And one of the uh, chemicals was chlorine that they mentioned. Around 630, authorities told residents that they were allowed to re-enter into their homes. Officials say the subject tank that caused the issue had water pumped into it. The water then was cleared into another tank. After looking at the bottom of the subject tank, officials say there was no longer a chemical reaction. O'Leary says being prepared for the situation allowed their response to be as safe as possible. We train on this stuff all the time. Uh, they're, they're specially trained. Uh, they take precautions for their own safety, uh, for each other, and there's you know double, triple check things. Uh, and they, they do this stuff, you know, we don't have many of these calls, but we, we train on these and this is the type of stuff we train on. A new study of the second booster against COVID-19 is less about long-term prevention and more about protection against serious illness. Right now, only people 50 and older, as well as those who have certain medical conditions are eligible to get the shot. Fox 11's Kia Murray breaks down what the study says about effectiveness and why local healthcare leaders still advocate for the vaccine. The New England Journal of Medicine came out with this study dated Tuesday, April 5th. One of the key points outlined in the conclusion, protection against confirmed COVID-19 infection appeared short-lived. 
And the virus doesn't care what we think. Aurora's Dr. Raul Mendoza saying we're still not out of the coronavirus pandemic yet. He adds what's just as important in the study is the rest of its conclusion. The, the study and the most important conclusion is that the four dose, it does protect um, against uh, severe illness. And the study was done in Israel. The country started administering a fourth dose against the Omicron variant for those 60 and older at the beginning of the year. The study confirmed, quote, rates of confirmed SARS-CoV-2 infection and severe COVID-19 were lower after a fourth dose. And while protection against contracting the virus may be short-lived, protection against severe illness is not. Or do you anticipate there could be a need for a fifth booster, sixth booster? I mean, how long will this continue? Well, I will not call them boosters anymore at, at some point. I mean, you get your yearly influenza vaccine. And the reason why you get your yearly influenza vaccine is because the virus keeps on mutating. How do you convince people to get this booster shot when you have this reputable journal saying that the protection, at least when it comes to protecting against getting the infection in the first place, wanes after a short period? Well... Again, the, the, to the, the message of that, uh, and it's very clear, the vaccine does work. So this is the time to go to, uh, to get your booster because there is a, a good chance that another variant will come and then your immunity will be up uh, and at least have some protection uh, and, and, and prevent uh, just potential catastrophic events. And so is expected with COVID-19.